a son of man be. Carrying it with his ear. Now I'm going to describe some of the things that was happening during the days of uh, time of Noah and the days of Noah. In verse 38, watch it open up to us. For as in the days that we that, that we're before, I mean, uh, were, as in the days, this is uh, during the days of Noah, as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, it was marrying. And giving in marriage, they were married, divorcing, they were leaving, they were drinking, they were partying, they were doing all they wanted to do. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Yes. Amen. Yes. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Yes. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Wow. Look at that, we're in that time. We're in that time. We're in that hour. Yeah. We're in that age. We are definitely in that era. Amen. Can I hear a witness here? Yeah. Amen. And the Bible said, Then shall two men in the field, and one shall be taken and the other left. Come on. And the women shall be grinding at the mill, and uh, the one shall be taken and the other left. Yes. The 42 said, Watch therefore, I want you to zoom in on this. Wow. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do come. Come. Right. But know this. You know what But know this. Know this. That if the good man of the house had known in the watch, I mean, uh, had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Amen. Therefore, this is what I want you to zoom in and can you get keen on. Amen. Therefore, be ye also ready. Yes. Amen. You said the second part of this sermon was don't wait to get ready, but be ye also ready. Don't wait to get ready when you see these things. Come get ready. Be ready. Amen. Yes. Therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man coming. Can I get a witness? Yes, now this ain't talking to the saints. Amen. Saints already ready. Amen. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has made ruler over his household? To give them meat in due season. Blessed is the, that servant <coughs> whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. You don't stop doing it, you keep doing it. Yeah. Race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but he that endures until the end. Yes. The same shall be saved. Yes. So continue doing it. Amen. Be consistent and also be persistent. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Can I get a witness? Amen. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming. You're finding people there. I, I just spoke about this. You're finding people there to try to see how much evil can they get into and do just before the time ends. Mm -hmm. And that's crazy. How much can I do for this world? Is this world getting ready to go? Let me see what I can get into. Let me see how quick can I get into it. And the enemy is wide open trying to get you. Mm -hmm. Because he knows he has only had a short time. Short time. So now everybody trying to get in place. I'm trying to make sure that I'm in the right place. Yes. Can we get Yes. Knowing that the Bible already said now is the acceptable time. Can we get So I'm trying to make sure, make certain that I'm in the right place instead of trying to do anything, nothing more, nothing less, and nothing else. I'm yeah. trying to be there and allow God to stay open and available that God can use me in any way or sense that he sees fit to use me, not trying to do anything outside of myself. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There was a message I preached before was when the time is right. Now we are here. I do believe we are here according to the word of God. Now. We can name it to now. Now. Amen. Mm -hmm. But if, amen, everybody don't care about it. They sell out everything and says want somebody to see them. I just say, my friends did this. Yes, indeed. If they can just see me now. Yes, indeed. If they can just hear me now. See, you think it's all about you. Amen. You forget all about the work and the service that you're supposed to be doing for God, but it's all about you now you serve yourself. But if the evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, the day is coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. What does that mean? Hang out. Amen. I, I, I heard, I'm not calling the name of the 
very powerful evangelists. I mean that many, many, many hundreds and thousands of people have heard and, and followed and uh, souls have gotten saved by this. But there came a time in his life that he was offensive. He was very offensive and offended by something that he didn't think the rest of his colleagues had, uh, was along with him. And the enemy used him in a sense, and here it was that he went out into a sense of inclusion, in, inclus inclusionness, and began to start dealing with things that is contrary to the word of God and trying to distort. He was distorting it to the place that he said that, uh, uh, that there is no hell. Quite sure he had a great crowd of people because it's all like that the church that he was into had built, it grew fast. It grows fast when you meet a, a group of people that you're saying to them, yeah, it will grow really, 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 really fast. Amen, because you're going along with their program and all the things that God is contrary and against. As long as I don't have to come away from this, I will serve, I will disturb because this is my church. Because guess what happened? I can stay just like I am and I can still go to heaven because there ain't no hell. That great deception that the enemy has done and put into the ministers of the devil. Yeah, the devil got ministers. Amen. Yeah, he, yeah, he built his own king, the devil. Amen. But, uh, and, and it is the Lord of that service shall come in a day when looking when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So that sounds like fire. Mm -hmm. Weeping, gnashing of teeth. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Amen. I want to go back to 44 and say again that we know not time at all, but let us know that there will be ye also ready, because that we don't know what hour that the Lord is coming back. We don't know the exact time that it's coming back. But we do know this according to the scriptures. Now is the acceptable time. Now. Can I get a witness? Here? Amen. Now. And I do believe that God is filling his house. Yeah. Amen. Except the Lord. Build the house. house. Yes. They labor in vain to build, build it. it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of building of houses going up, but not by the hands of God. Thank you, Jesus. Can I get a witness here? There's a lot of things that emphasis that looks good. There's a lot of things that big and beautiful and that with all the great beautiful cathedral or uh, uh, ceilings and the Roman columns and everything else that's in it and everything beautified, the pews and chairs, whatever it may be, the carpet. The carpet and everything else is going and everything is looking good. And it seems like everybody's coming, even the celebrities and everybody. You got California, you got all kind of places that's entering and joining with their big millions and all this appointment to make it even greater and bigger. Tell you with us here. And it seems just like this ought to be the place to go. Guess what? How can this be so big and so beautiful as it is? And all these people and everybody going the same way. This got to be the church of God before God got to be in it. And so it's really a great deception that people are going by what it looks like. It's oh, y'all even help me preach this. They going by what it looks like and it seems like it ought to be. Can't you know so they're following that and they're getting all up in the fold into the families into the clans. Uh, uh, everybody else into all kinds of clubs and organizations and they call it this that and they call it this and they call it this and that. And here it is that everybody's going and it seems like you know, all the time that it's going to worship, everybody's going that way. Amen. Yeah, they tell you that Jesus said to be well now, you know, the words of that going in that broad and wide way. They're saying like, y'all, y'all are going to help me up in here. There is a way to see the right into the Lord and lead into destruction. Now, there is a place, uh, there is a place that leads you straight to a place that you don't want to end up there. But the Lord Jesus said, be, in other words, if I can paraphrase this, be careful of that broad and wide way that leads into destruction. Be careful of that broad and wide way that leads into death. Somebody shout yes where everybody seems to be going. But watch that straight and narrow way. In that straight and narrow way, you won't find many people traveling that road because everybody don't want to walk right. Everybody don't want to talk right. Everybody don't want to serve right. Everybody want to be with all this, that, and the other and be with the dignitaries and all the sophisticated. They want to be with the people that are so proud and got 
so much pride that it brushes you off. Jesus. Who do you? Who are you? You ain't got nothing. I'm here to tell you, none of us got nothing except you got Christ. Come on, you know, when we all die, hey. we all stand and die. And guess what? We all pay the same. We yeah. don't have nothing. Nothing you came into the world with, and nothing yeah. you going out with. Because all that you thought you had, it all belongs to God. Somebody shout yes up in here. But don't go sniffing and lifting your head up and rolling your eyes and and and, and, and rubbing your nose and all. And don't want to be with this or that. But he is uniquely born seeking out the poor. Come on now. God bless you a much to go to work. Ah. Oh boy. Facebook. It's on. We here. I'm on Facebook. Here it is. We here. The reason why you've been blessed with much. Now hear this. Look at the word. Look. Now. Hear this. Amen. The reason why you've been blessed with much. Because as much is given, uh, as much is required. Yeah. You was blessed with more than enough mm -hmm. so that you can go to work for the kingdom. Thank you, Lord. All right. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Sufficient is for today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whatever you have for today, and have food for today is sufficient for you because you can't live with one day yeah. at a time. Yeah. You live now until tomorrow and tomorrow ain't even promised to you. Right. Your time could be up today. Right. But you had enough for today. Right. So you're rich. Yeah, Amen. Mm. All that other stuff and all that that we think that we got here and there and there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> When your time is up, God will ask the question, who does all those things belong to? Belong to? It's in the word, y'all. Can I preach the word? Preach it. All this is in the word. Preach it. Amen. You want to know where it is? Just text me. I just want to get your attention now. Facebook, text me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Message you heard some praise. Message. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. But <laughs> we're thinking that the more we have, Yes, Lord. The more we're supposed to collect. Okay. Amen. Can I give you just a, a tad bit of this story that Jesus said is horrible? Yes, Lord. There was a man that the Lord blessed with. He was blessed with plenty. Yes, he had plenty. The Lord blesses. Uh -huh. I'm just saying, feel whatever it was in every area, I want to say. Yes. Plenty. Yes. But the man began to take that. As he looked around and said, wait a minute, hmm, where can I put all of this? He's talking to his soul, his own soul. Right. His soul. And tell you, I'm telling you, whatever you speak to your soul, you're building up your soul to it. Right. Okay. I know what we would do, what we would do here in this soul. We would tear down the small barn <laughs> and build, I think it was barns. So I want to put through it. It was the reality of that. More than one small barn. But however, on the bars, and we will be a greater to put all of our stuff in. Amen. Can, can I talk about me for a minute? My wife and I decided we should downsize because we had too much stuff. Uh, Lord Jesus. We had enough stuff for two and a half houses. <laughs> God bless us with one house, and we saw that, okay, it ain't with just two of us. In case some of the people don't know what happened. So we decided, when something came up and something hit, grabbed our attention. <laughs> the Spirit grabbed our attention. You know what? Nobody but just me and her. We don't need all this space. We don't need all of this. So what we'll do, we'll downsize. And so my wife and I, we decided we came in agreement and in harmony with that to downsize. And so in the process of downsizing, guess what? We said we were downsized to upgrade. There's a different downsizing and 
not being able to upgrade. Amen. So our downsizing was also, this is how God does things. I can tell you, God is good. Amen. Just shut some people's mouths up. And, and he said, I'm going to allow you to downsize and upgrade. And when we heard from the Spirit, we went on it. We were given other deals to keep or remain cheaper. Amen. Where we were at. Amen. But then what God said. Mind you again, we downsized to up. Great. Great. Yeah. That's showing God's stamping of approval. Yes. Okay, all that did nothing. You know that. So that's what we did. And we wanted also, because we had enough stands, and we are getting older, and nothing wrong with it. And sometimes you leg yourself and be good going up and down stairs, but we never visited upstairs as much. We had a prayer room upstairs and we visited that, but we never visited. We had, again, two, two and a half houses in one. We had a whole new house upstairs, another whole house upstairs, plus. We did. You own a house there, this is not right, but you own a house there, you say, oh, wait a minute, they went out and bought something, no, we didn't. Everything is, we just lessen things. God is so good. He's so good. Yes, he is. And my, see, God gave you houses full. Thank you, Lord. That you didn't build. Thank you, God. I'm not taking God short of anything what he said. He said, I will give you how the food that you did not build. I will give you wealth you didn't dig. I will give you vineyards that you didn't even plant. Yes. Hallelujah. If you stay with me, if you keep my command, if you stay with me and do according to what I say. Yes. Amen. Sometimes people wonder, people ask questions, they inquire on what and what. As a matter of fact, of course, it came up, does this, does this house cost more than the one you have? Business of your you want to know, I'll tell you. Yeah. But still ain't on your business. But curious people, you know, people, curiosity, kill the cat, they say. But, yeah. It's more, I told you, we downsized to up great. And we're so comfortable. Everything is like we want it. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Amen. Amen. Some people get scared of the phrase, mm -hmm. they lost our house. <laughs> no, we so didn't. Those house, houses belong to God's children. We didn't lose the baby. There was one of the houses that he gave us. And he gave us another one. And he would give us another one. And he giving us another one. And another one. And another one. It's all depending on your belief and your faith. And you would have to say. And God has no respect for us. So what he did for him to do for all. All of his children. Amen. Amen. I think you can have even the most if you don't be afraid to trust them more. Yeah. What's stopping you from living a great life and a beautiful life, comfortable life? You are. You are. If you want to get it. You want to eat a steak, eat one. Won't be no mistake. Only mistake is that you got to do and you won't do it. That's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But don't even the one that does it. That makes sense. Amen. Amen. Don't envy the look. Yes. If you, if for me, if I want to know, I'm in part of a. I didn't do anything. God did it. Amen. But the inquire. I'll point you out to the source. Amen. Amen. But I'm saying this because we are going to leave here one day. And we could have had a more comfortable, loving, less stressful life if we had followed and did what God planned. Do you not know that God said, uh, 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 you okay. shall rejoice and eat of the fruit of your labor, but this is a gift from God? That's the gift he gives to you, his children. Mm -hmm. Yes. This man that God bless for plenty has had work to do. So he spoke to his soul. So we have much now to live for many years. He said we shall eat, drink, and be merry. Amen. Mm -hmm. When he went through all 
all there thinking about nobody but yeah, himself. God stepped in. And guess what God said to him? First of all, God required his soul that night. Uh, you can leave here and all that you see you got and think you got. Uh, watch this. He required his soul. And then God asked him, of course, who does all those things belong to? Amen. 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 Some people looking at Oprah, some people looking at uh, uh, all these people, basketball celebrities and all that, millions and billions and all this stuff, and here they you trying to, no, 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 no. All of that belongs to God. Amen. You and Oprah, look, me and Oprah right now can stand at the same time when the time us to leave here, and guess what happened? Naked we came into the world, and guess what? Naked we're going out. We can't take nothing with us. Everything left back here, it belongs to God. Mm -hmm. God asked the question to the man, now who does those things belong to? Right. So who are you holding it for? What you're doing, you're missing out on an opportunity to live the best life. You want to travel? It's okay if you can afford it to go. I don't know about talking out your blessing. If I hand like that, I'm going to travel too. Amen. Amen. I'm going to live life. Because the best is yet to come. But all that we don't know, we miss out on. And then we die. And it's all that back here that we could have. We worked hard for. We put in our blood, sweat, and tears and everything else into it. And now, here it is left back here. Somebody can get a hold to it. Guess what? Going in one hour. Y'all better help me with this. Don't know about what we talk to the elderly people about this because guess what? The young folk want to keep that away from the elderly people. Y'all better hear this elderly people because guess what happened? They know that all that left back here for them, they don't have it. They're going to definitely be, uh, they're going to encourage you to live your life and have a beautiful life and enjoy your life while you're here. As you enjoy, you have less stress and you live longer. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. They want to leave everything back here for them. They ain't going to encourage you to live your life. Come on. I'm here to tell y'all to live your life and have a beautiful life and enjoy your life as God has given all of this to you as a gift from him. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Amen. You mess around and get broke down and can't go nowhere and you, cause you, you, you as we get older, we get weaker. And here it is the same one. Here it is. They ain't looking at you. They want to put you off. They ain't got time for you. Mm. Well, we know a good rest home we can put them in a rest home. Wow, Jesus. You better watch it. <laughs> Amen. If they ain't going up with you now, you better watch it. If they ain't coming to your rescue now when those something hit you, you better watch them. They should be the first one there when something happened to you. Amen. If you get sick, they should be the first on arrival to there. If they see there, call me up. Well, I got to get out. It'll hurt tomorrow, man. Call me, give me a report. Give me a report. You ain't give me a report. I'm gonna be there. Yes, Come on. Keep in mind who's there the first when something happened to you. Mm -hmm. They'll determine who will be there the first if something were to happen to you worse. Mm -hmm. Don't let yes. them you. Yes. And put you up in a place that you say, hey, where you go? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because true love makes sacrifices. You ain't worried about what you got, whether you got to work tomorrow or not. You put tomorrow off working. That's right. That's right. Go check on somebody. Even if they write you up, I'll take them right up. I can't get them to point right now, but guess what? I'll take a half of one just to go check on you. All right now. If it takes that, I will take a whole point and they just got to fire me. All right. That's true love. Come on now. Sacrifices. Somebody checking on and making sure that you are ready. I mean that you are all right. Mm. Amen. Yes, Lord. This is where we are. Now is the acceptable time of your salvation. Now is the time that you need to wake up. Now is the time and don't let no devil fool you. Now is the time to know, know who you know. And when you know him, now is the time to know who God is dealing with and working with and to see what they are working with to see that according to what God has given them to work with. Somebody 
shall get up here because love yes, Lord. will call you to make sacrifices. Yes. Love will call you to be there if you have to inconvenience yourself. That's what sacrificing is, inconveniencing yourself. I don't care if you're out of state, you will be on that road or highway or on a flight trying to get there anyhow. You will break your vacation. You will break everything just to go to check on them. Jesus. Even if I tell you you ain't got to come, you're going to be there. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Oh, well. Because number one, I'm not sleeping no more 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when something's going on with you. I'm wide awake now. No, you go ahead and then, no, I'm, I'll be there. Look, you can tell me stay all you want. I'm coming. I ain't got no more sleep. How can I rest and sleep with something going on with you? Yeah, Amen. Amen. That's selfishness. And then you're hoping that. Amen. Yeah, this is where we are. We're in that day and hour. We're in the time that we're trying to, and here it is, there's so much of a manipulation of the LG because of these young folks right standing. They don't know who might go first. But here it is, they're thinking it's opposing that. This crazy. Banking on somebody else's money. Banking on somebody else's land. Banking on somebody else's house. Banking on somebody else for what they got up in that sense in life. It's bad when you're thinking about somebody else's stuff. It's killing. If you ain't contributing to their stuff, then guess what? What do you sit there banking on the phone? That's right. Scared? Mm. Man, it's still mm, scary. Mm, mm. Do I really want you to live a long, long life? And and uh, a great life, and by reason of health and strength, or do I want you to get one out of the way so I can go and get what I want? I get, mm. Something to think about. Mm. Amen. Watch, therefore. Yes, Lord. Amen. Tell me your witness. Amen. These are the kind of messages we like to hear, but these are the real messages that we need to hear. Yes. Because there's so many people who have been blind and, and, and been blinded with witchcraft. But that's all it is. People manipulate. Manipulating people are witchcraft people using witchcraft to tell you, no, you don't you don't need to say what I don't need. Let me enjoy my life. Yes. 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 You want to hear the state eat one. You want a sauce on it? Put a sauce on it. I don't want a sauce. Feed me just for it. Like mine with a sauce. Y'all know you're not going to say it. Huh? You ain't going to miss that. Well done. Well done. I want you to think. This one, this right. Chop it up. Yeah, you want just right. You give me a little, little, some trimmings on it. You know, little trimmings on it. Little size. Yeah. Yeah, you like your love. I'm going to tell you, no, you can't afford it. No, you don't even get that. No, you can't eat that steak. And here I am on me. <laughs> so many people controlling people's lives don't make sense. Facebook, are y'all listening to me? Stop trying to control people's lives. And look, let them enjoy their life. Encourage them to enjoy their life. Encourage them if they want to buy a boat, let them get a boat. If they want to go and do this, let them do this. If they want a new car, let them get them a new car. And stop worrying about how much they're spending. Because guess what? It ain't yours. It belongs to them. And let them, if they want something fresh or new, let them go out and do what they want to do. This right here is life to them. And they live the best of their life. Stop trying to hold their money back for yourself. Well, mm. Telling you you don't what you don't need. They get. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Told him I want to hear this, but I done messed up somebody's program, man, because that's what you've been telling me, Grandma, and you've been telling your mother, you've been telling your father, you've been telling people that, that you think that you're going to outlive. Mm. We don't know who may go first. That's right. I know you don't like this message. We're in the day and hour and every eye should be open unto the Lord and we need to walk accordingly according to what God said. And this, my job is to make sure that every person that hears by the sound of my voice get aware of the trick and the snares of the enemy because he's very conniving, he's very cunning and crafty. Yes. And this is what he's doing. He's using you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody come and tell you what you can't have. Yes, I can. If you got if you got the resource to do it with, you got it to do it. Ain't no life. There don't be no fool. Can't be no fool now. Come on. Wild enough that you ain't gonna be no fool. But live your life. Enjoy your life. 
enjoy what God has blessed you with as a gift from Him. Then you get to heaven, you have all the opportunity. God said, "We just said, well, when you when we leave here, God cannot go back and <laughs> if He would allow some of the people to see what the people is doing with what they were called for, mm -hmm. they come on. He may get in, run into somebody that's going to run a praise enough to cause them and take everything they got. You don't know who your loved one's going to run into. Who are they going to mate up with? You don't know. You raised them right, you brought them right, you don't know who they're going to choose. True story. You can't choose one. True story. Mm -hmm. So you don't know who they're going to end up with. So true. Amen. Especially, you um, I'm not just talking, y'all. I'm just trying to wait aware of some people up. Because you got your young women out here, and they are very, very vulnerable. And especially those that are not getting a lot of attention. You got these slick cooks out here, E. Jackson, Tom's, and everybody else out here, and street Tom's and Jackson knows how to go and manipulate a woman. Yes. Tell them how beautiful they are. He gave me like a little child, and went to a child. And here it is, because they know you got something. And with some of you are every single thing that you got of your inheritance from somebody else. Amen. And they ain't studying you. They will take it from you, young women on Facebook, and they will take it to somebody else that treats them like dirt. Mm -hmm. That's true. They'll get your car, your bank cars, they'll get your cars. And if you got a house, they'll turn around and get your house. They get everything you got. And the one that uh, don't care nothing for them, they're using them, it'll go to that woman over there. Mm -hmm. And they'll use you up. Can I be real? Hey, Amen. That's why you don't want the truth. This is what they in our way in, y'all. And men, please, I hate to see a weak one be man. Mm. Amen. Women well, we got game too. Uh -oh. We got game. They find a weak, wealthy man. They got a little stuff. They give him every dime they got. <laughs> and guess what? Old Jack will get it all. It's like modern day prostitution. Mm -hmm. So true. These women go out and they find these kind of men, these weak men. And they take them for everything they, they, they got, got. And they take it to their pimp. Mm -hmm. Jack. You better know it. Jack got to a call. You working all three hours on the job. Gain no money and lose no money. Mm -hmm. and, and she tell you, look, well, we want to build up this for the vacation and all this in there. And you working and you working hard. And you put it all in. And guess what? On the find out it ain't there no more for Jack. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I got everything. Amen. Amen. Can I wake the people up today? You got them out there. They're six. Yes. They got your bank card. That will make people snap. It's crazy, but people snap. Right. And they go off. <laughs> You thought you had something, he did everything gone. You know you made all this money. You made two hundred thousand that year, and he did when it's time to uh, uh, add up to see what you got. You got you, you got at least uh, no more than about hundred dollars left in the end. Oh. <clears throat> you better wake up. You got him out here. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes you kind of watch some of the others men get the nicest looking women because that's what he do. He run a game on them. He make them feel that they're so ugly. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. And he make them feel so bad, low self-esteem, that he brings them down to a place and he can get everything she got. Uh -huh. Game to run. This is where we are. Everybody say now. Now. This is where we are. Yeah. Stop falling for that stuff with me and telling you. Amen. Man. Yeah. Well, how you know so much about it? Been down the road? Yes, sir. Amen. I'm going to say, been down the road. The old man yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. knows what games to play, know what things to say. Yes, 
know how to do it. And then you got some women that are smarter than men now. They know how to get them in and they find a way. <laughs> See, back then they called them uh, sugar daddies, right? Mm -hmm. Sugar daddy wasn't accepted there. They find out they didn't get enough rest and he ended up with a heart attack. Amen, because they're trying to run. You got these highway men that drive trucks and everything else, they kill themselves. They got to keep up these young women. And they tell them how great a man they are. Don't fall for that mess. <laughs> it's a game they run in their plan. <coughs> now, you are my man. Yeah. Prostitutes do anything for money. If a dog uh, get up some money and take to him, they'll take him to the dinner. That's their work. That's what they do. Right. Right, Amen. 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 Can I be real about it? Yes, be real. So, my advice to you, men and women of God, find someone in the Lord. Not just anybody. That's right. Find somebody who was born again and saved like you are. Stop chasing down behind these thugs and everybody else. They're going to get you. Don't get you. Come ye out from amongst <coughs> them. Be separated. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Yeah. Leave them alone. Pray for them. But don't entangle with them. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yeah. If you're a child of God, seek those that's in the Lord. Amen. But that choice will be yours, though. Or whatever you choose, you, it's you. You got it. Amen. Because we in a time now, y'all. It's a wake-up time. It's a time now that we should get right with God and do it now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can I get a witness here? Yes. God is calling his people, his children home. Amen. Amen. This is the acceptable time. Now is the acceptable time. time. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't let anything else matter to you but get it right with God and watch the Lord lead you, guide you, and show you the way. Yes. Follow God's instructions. I don't care what they look like. There's the Washington's and the they're what the Kerry Washingtons and the uh, Halle Berry's and all the other. I don't matter what they look like. Hollywood got a whole bunch of uh, 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 fine women. That's why the men look. They just go from one out to another because everything. You know, California got them all. Amen. All shapes and however you want them, they got it. California got it. <laughs> they tempt men to just grab and go after them. That's why marriages don't last there. Amen. You got too many to running around, strutting around. You want to be faithful. Here it is. There's somebody else running around and praying. Here it is. That. Yeah. Get the ones that are saved and born again in the Lord. Stop looking at the bodies. <laughs> I ain't said the other word. And the, the world call it. Y'all know the other word call it. The world call it. Right? Stop looking at the bodies. I'm saying the bodies. Amen. Look at their mind and see who they are serving. See how they say they're going again. See what they want. Are they seeking? Amen. Amen. And, um, I talked with um, my young son, Savion. I said, make sure y'all got the same belief. Yeah. You don't want to deal or get involved with somebody that has a different belief than you. Hell already done start. They believe in this and that. You believe in that. No. You're Christian, you believe in Christianity. Amen. Amen. That's my advice. I can't make you do whatever. You do what you want to do, but I'm going to give you advice that I know. Amen. Amen. Don't be so eager to get tangled up. Don't be so eager to 
And so he made a choice. Amen. And as you examine the other one, the other one was a little different. And this one, this one was more, this one was had the same belief and had everything and all, and he saw this. <laughs> and they things that they know from the beginning. And he saw that that was not what it looks like. He said, there's something that's hidden, this. But he saw everything else in the right perspective with the other. So he took the rock, the rock. And guess what happened? As examining and seeing, to, you can find the difference. Did we get it? No, it's your choice. <laughs> Tell you about it. But I'm going to give you the advice. So you ain't there. Guess what? He, he took the advice. Can't make choices for your children. You can't make choices for nobody. You can give them good counsel. Amen. You'd be amazed at how many that married today that ain't married. What do you mean by that? Stay in the same house, and you'd be amazed where they sleep when they're home. One can be upstairs, one can be downstairs, one can be on the couch, one can be on the bed. But in the public eye, it seems like everything is okay. We need to know the definition of what a marriage is. We need to know the definition of what a husband is. We need to know the definition of what a wife is. Amen. The way God said it is. Not what we determine. Make sense? Yeah, I'm not getting you no know, marriage counsel or anything like that, but see what God said about marriage, bro. Yeah. And examine it. And see does it coincide with what God said. And if not, then guess what happened? God ain't doing nothing that because you did it. Ain't God can put two people together and ain't right. God must have what God's doing together, man. She's not putting something. I don't put everybody together. You choose on your own. Right. She's pregnant, so therefore we want to get a name, a name, and so we got married. And God did that. No, he did not. You did that. So is it really a marriage in the sight of God? No. Nah. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. You did. Well, she said she loved me. Okay, did she prove she loved me? Did she show forth herself being a wife? Did, she, did he show forth herself being a husband? Mind what God, what the word said, the word said he defined a wife, find a good thing. Is that a good thing? Is she, she's okay with you? Is everything good? She do, she is she submissive? Do you submissive one to the other? Are you doing the things? Does she honor you? Do you honor her? Does she submit to you? Do you submit to her? Do you everything that God gives about marriage? And now I can tell you, there's a lot of things I've seen. People don't even have that character in their marriage. You get your own, they got seven bank accounts. Yeah. If you have seven bank accounts, know what happened? Something wrong. You already divided. I mean, you, so you right. definitely want to get on the couch and want to go in and, and, and take a bed and want to quit. <laughs> Split joint account. What the word? Well, I think more than you, so I got mine over here. I got mine. I got a little property over here that I inherited. So therefore, my money, my money is greater than your money. This is a vision right here. That don't matter no. Marriage is a union. Either he's going to be united together as one. How many will? What happened? Yeah, it's two. Yeah, you need two halves. You're not even joining as one. Because here that you got your bank account. No, we all got together. We're equal. My wife and I, we got together. What she got, I got, what I got, she got. It's all together. That's fair enough, right? We love each other. She honors me. She respects me. She serves me. And I guess what? I serve such. Amen. Amen. He'll get his own plate with me. I worked as hard as he did. Well, that's your opinion. And guess what? You need to get married. <laughs> but I am married. I've been married for so many years. You need to get married. Because you serve one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you serve one. So it ain't no big thing. So some people don't know that and don't like it. This is that. In 2000s and then all this. And no, 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 no. It didn't change the word. Word still saying the same, stays the same. God is saying today, he has said forever more. So take it, look, follow the example. How to serve. And maybe you'll love each other better. And you want to put on no front when you come out. 
I'm going to walk in love. Thank you, God. I'm going to walk in Yes. I'm going to walk in patience. I'm going to walk in temperance. I'm going to walk in long suffering. I'm going to walk in those things, the goodness and kindness and the faith that God has given unto me as a gift of His Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you. Full of the Spirit. I'm going to walk there in. Somebody shout yes. Yeah. Too many has had their hands on me and holding me down. Too many has been pressing me and depressing me. Somebody shout yes. Your biggest depression yes. comes from people. Yes. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Loose yourself from that mess. Thank you, God. Loose yourself right here, Thank right you. now. Let your press yes. go Thank free. You, Lord. Right now in Jesus' name. And watch you walk in freedom. Thank you, Lord. Peace, love, and joy. Somebody shout yes. And yes. it's good to live. Isn't life beautiful despite what's going on in the world? Despite whatever's going on in every in the areas and the avenues and everywhere else. That's what life is still beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. You live on. That stress. Put that stress to rest. Rest, yes, sir. And watch your life be longer. See, Proverbs taught us how to live a longer life. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's the stress that's wounded that has wounded you and taken you out of here. And he is worried about this, worried about that. The Lord says, don't worry about what you should eat, drink, or what you should put on. Amen. Yes, Amen. Jesus. I'm talking this because we've been through this. My wife and myself, my family. We've been through this. We didn't worry about it. We kept on trying to do all that we can in the Lord. And thank God for the strength and the faith that we developed. That he, the faith that he gave us, it was developed thank by you, exercising Jesus. the faith. Forward action in truth and hearing. So as we heard, the more we exercised, the more he poured out and gave to us. And the more we walked there in again. Well, it hard. It wasn't an easy thing. But guess what happened? It got easier. Because the more we trusted God, the more we can walk forward. The more we can walk fast, the more we can get on through that. Because we know the trick of the enemy. But we started out slow. Ah, oh, but we broke down. Yes, we were broke down. We were broken down. We were broken down with community. We were broken out. People were talking about this and talking about that. I thought he's a man of God. I thought he's supposed to be saved. Supposed to be saved. Wait a minute. Let me correct you. I never say I am a man of God. Somebody shout yes to me. But people yes. are talking and denying you because guess what? They, they don't understand you're going through is only to get to. Because it takes whatever you're going through in order to get to. You go through the wilderness and you walk over the door to get to the promised land. So the promised land is on the other side of the door. So you have to go through the wilderness to get to the cross over the door. To get to the promised land. And guess what? As we begin to start going and processing life, guess what? We were going through the wilderness, yes, we were being talked about. We were going through the wilderness, yes, we were being criticized. We were going through the wilderness, although, yes, indeed, we were being ostracized. We were being falsely accused. We were being everything else, and everybody's calling everything else but child of God. Everybody's saying, well, what? What? What is this? Mm, can't be God over there because nobody they know that going through was in order to. Have us to trust God even more. More, that's right. Thank you, Jesus. I want to see your Thank song. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because guess what? You might be sitting up there. Ooh. Have a great fall. Jesus. You ain't strong enough to go through. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Yes, we had some tough times. Mm. We had some bad times. We had some times in life. We've been through. Jesus. Guess what? Ain't going from there. Even I ain't just stopped. The name's here. Okay, I can't get you there. I tell you what, I'm going to attack the children. Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some people may have had that before, but look, you know, some people have had that because guess what? They were serving God. And they didn't try everything, throw everything after you, including the kitchen sink. Yes, Lord. Amen. Jesus. You will bring the family in on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some people think, okay, I got a perfect family. Well, you don't because the Bible didn't say that. The Bible said the time will come when daughters will be against mothers and mothers will be against daughters and fathers will be against sons and sons will be against fathers. The Bible said, and here it is that mother and daughters will be against daughter and all no loss again. Mother and daughters. So here it is, Jesus already said that will come. That's the way the devil fights. There should be five in one house, and here it is, two of them or three of them, two of them will be against five. I mean, the other ones. Here it is, you're going to have a division, the Bible said. And the reason for that, that God don't want you to get too attached to this. But first of all, get attached to God. Yes. That's right. Can you stand to be broken? Mm. Because if not, guess what happened? You will be destroyed. 
Jesus. You have to be broken in order for God to yes, place you and put you back in the way that yes. He would have you to be. Yes, Lord. Not the way that you want to be. Yes, not the way that you think you should be. Yes, but the Jesus. way that He has purpose for yes, you to be. Jesus. In order to have everything yes, that He has placed for you to do in your purpose. Gracefully broken. Thank you. That's why you go through. Thank you, Lord. It's a good thing. Thank you, Lord. Doesn't feel good. No, but it's a good hurt. It's a good hurt. What I mean by that, because it brings you closer to God. Yes, indeed. And everything that you have given up for now. Everything. Including your spouse and children and everything else. You shall receive See. back. Yes. It's coming back. But you would have received that back manifoldly. Manifoldly. And plus each Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So don't worry about your loss is your gain. Trust me. Your loss is your gain. Your loss is your gain. Thank you, Jesus. Now is the time for he that had it here let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Yeah. God is in his holy temple. All the earth keeps us out for him. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now is the time. Everyone is on their feet at this time.